Hi everybody and welcome back to Radio Oddity's YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the 20 meter band which for me personally is one of my favourite bands to work not least because it's open all year round it also offers us great DX opportunities. So let's get down to the facts. The 20 meter band is in the high frequency portion of the radio spectrum and its frequencies are between 14 MHz and 14350 MHz. Owing to the band's reputation as being one of the best for chasing DX, it is a very popular choice for contests because of its large size and the fact that the antennas used to operate on 20 meters are relatively small compared to the antennas that you can use for say 40 meters or 80 meters. The band is easily workable even in unfavorable propagation conditions. The 20 meter band was opened up for amateur radio use during the third national radio conference on October the 10th 1924. Now this was for the US only. It wasn't until October the 4th 1927 when the frequencies became available for worldwide use during the International Radio Telegraph Conference in Washington DC. Originally the band plan was 1400 to 14400 MHz but this was later rescinded to 14350 MHz in 1947. So the band plan for 20 meters is pretty uniform throughout each IAIU region and comprises of CW only at the lower end of the band 14 MHz to 14070 MHz and a little further up you can find your digital mode operations between 14070 MHz and 14099 MHz. Beacons are also allocated to a small portion between 14099 and 14101 MHz and at the very top end of the band where I do most of my operations you can find phone mode which is my personal favourite because I do like talking to people and um, all different kinds of, of modes such as slow scan television so that's at the very top end of the band. So. Over the years, me personally, I've had lots and lots of fun working on 20 meters and I would say that it's my main band of operation and personally, I would recommend this band to any AM radio operator. Um, although it might be wise for any new licensees to get comfortable on a more local band first, such as 2 meters or 70 centimeters, just using the repeaters and uh, getting to know your cue codes and uh, just getting a little bit of confidence on uh, on the microphone here uh, because we've we've all started off somewhere and been a little bit mic shy so I think that there's something for everybody on 14 megahertz and away from the contesting as you remember what I said it is it is a pretty busy place for contests especially during the summer months on a weekend um, it's, it's a pretty relaxed place to be when there's no contests on. So, thank you for watching the video on the 20 metre band. I've kept it short and sweet. Um, I would like, if anybody has any questions, please do comment below on the video and I will be sure to get back to you and answer any questions that you may have regarding 20 metres. I'm sure there'll be plenty. And just go out and enjoy the band. There's plenty of DX opportunities to be had with this band even when the propagation isn't there there's there's always something it's a great band to work what i will say is please don't forget to subscribe to the channel radio oddities is now across multiple different social media platforms we have facebook we have instagram we have twitter go follow us over there for more updates about the videos that we're putting out and of course right here home on youtube please, please, please hit that subscribe button, like the videos and share across any of the platforms that I have mentioned. So once again, thanks for watching the video. Take care and 7-3.